Here on this channel, there seems to be a common theme that I've set in place. Lately, I've actually been making a lot of videos about free AI, completely free AI for you to access at home. And of course, without a doubt, you guys are going to enjoy those videos very much because there's nothing better than free stuff. But in any case, we're going to continue this trend with another free AI website. But this one stands out for a few key reasons. And this is something that I would have made a video about regardless. But I'm lucky enough that this company that has made this website that we're talking about today actually did reach out to me to do a sponsored video. And you guys know on this channel, I never do sponsored videos about products that I don't think would make for a great video. So yes, this video is sponsored, but like I said, I would have made a video about this regardless. And if you click the link down in the description below, you will be brought to this website right here. I'm willing to bet that most of you haven't heard about this yet, unless you already saw it in my Discord. This is CF Spark by Creative Fabrica. This was actually pretty surprising to me to see. I hadn't heard about Creative Fabrica before they reached out to me and before I saw CF Spark, because of course this is an AI YouTube channel, but what they do is they essentially provide resources like different fonts for creating graphics or just actual graphics themselves, 3D SVGs for example, home crafts, patterns, you, you get the idea. They do like crafting things, essentially embroidery, needlework, classes, teachers, this website's pretty large actually, and it actually does have a lot of benefits that are beyond Sea of Spark, but what they're doing is they're taking the open source Stable Diffusion, and they are bringing it into their website, which is already a very creative, crafty, artistic place. So generally, you know, people that watch my videos, for example, are going to be people that already know about AI, they're interested in AI, but Creative Fabrica seems to be bringing Stable Diffusion and AI art into a space that is not overrun by AI enthusiasts. They won't know what Stable Diffusion is when they first try it out. And I think that's really interesting. They're trying to really get ahead of the wave here and start with AI art right on their website. And honestly, for a website that doesn't specifically engross itself in AI, like we usually see on this channel, they have done a fantastic job at implementing Stable Diffusion into their website. First of all, what most of you are gonna be very happy to hear is, completely free, stable diffusion generated, completely free unlimited generation. As you can see, I've already done a little bit of creating with it. First prompt was, of course, 3D render, lemon character relaxing in LA wearing sunglasses. And it is very evident that it is, in fact, stable diffusion. Then I tried some, like, pixel art -y mushroom prompts and stuff. And yeah, I did actually get some pretty good results here. And you'll notice that there's a date for each generation right here. And it sort of follows in the same footsteps as Playground AI, which I've also covered on the channel before, where, you know, your older generations are towards the bottom, and they all save automatically, by the way, on the website, which is really nice. Anyways, it's a very simple interface to use. What would you like to create with CF Spark? And I just will type it right in here into the generator, and, you know, you can type whatever prompt you want. We've got a few different aspect ratios we can also pick from, like 2x3, for example, or 3x2, or just the regular square, so there's a few options for aspect ratio in there if you're interested in that. And we just press the ignite button and we'll begin to generate. So this actually works off of a Cubase system to make sure that it's able to be free. Unlimited generation for free. And as you can see, the queue slowly lowers as more and more generations complete. And eventually it will be your turn to generate. So this is kind of similar to Midjourney, except that it's completely free, where Midjourney is not completely free, where you can have like speed credits or like a fast mode that can be enabled. If you want to speed up your creations, you know, that's when you can go ahead and pay for their CF Spark Creator Pass, which is nine bucks a month. I think that's a pretty fair deal. Thousand Spark speed creations for nine bucks a month. That's not too bad, honestly. I think that's pretty fairly priced. And if you really don't want to spend the money, you completely have that option to just not spend the nine bucks a month and just wait for your generations. And what's also nice is you do get four generations Per prompt, which is nice to see here. Stable Diffusion did not a great job on this one, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but whatever. So your prompts are immediately saved in here. If we click this little green button, it will bring them up in all of their glory, and I suppose if you wanted to save them, you could just drag them to your desktop, but if you want to publish them to your CF Spark account, here's where things get a little bit more interesting. This is where I'm gonna start talking about the differentiating factors between CF Spark and the other stable diffusion free generators out there. So let's say I really, really like this one right here in the corner and I click the publish button. 
Now it is going to publish this generation to my account. So now my work is published and we can click this little open button right down here and it brings us to our work published right in Creative Fabrica. And as you can see, they actually do have prompt visibility options. So that's really cool to see. And you can copy the prompt right in here. So if I didn't want anyone to see the prompt, I could just close it off. So this feature right here would allow you to leave a trail of how you actually used your Stable Diffusion CF Spark creations. You can add descriptions, write comments. There is like a whole social media aspect to this as well. We'll talk about that after. You can see views and there can be likes. Again, the social media aspect. So what's interesting is this is a graphic here on Creative Fabrica, so it counts as a graphic. If you have Creative Fabrica's trial here, this is like their subscription plan for their entire graphic website. This is actually going to be included as a graphic that other people could use with unlimited access to all of these different fonts and graphics. And you're like, so what? The graphics I make are a part of Creative Fabrica's premium subscription plan. Well, in the future, I was told by Creative Fabrica that you will be able to make money off of your generations. So if you make really nice Stable Diffusion CF Spark generations and other people want to use them, well, you're going to be able to get paid through Creative Fabrica to host them. So you generate your creations. If people really like them, people want to use them in their works, you will get paid, which is really cool. I think that is fascinating. That's something I have not seen any other website introduce at all. That's like a first time thing for AI generated art, I think, where it's a website that will eventually allow you to sell all your creations as creative works for people to use in their creative works. And Creative Fabric has already like has hundreds, hundreds of users. So all of those users will there will be an ability for them to see your work. So if you're really good at prompt crafting, you know, you can actually make money by being good at that for the first time which is just really, really cool. So moving on to a few more of these social media aspects. As you can see, you know, we have the My Creations section. This is everything that has been published on your account. You can have different followers, just like a social media account. You know, I have one follower apparently. And you also have your personal feed. So this would include everyone that you decide you want to follow and you want to see what they're creating with CF Spark. This is where all of those creations would show up in here for you to browse around and look at. And we've also got the community feed. So these are highly, highly upvoted. Lots of people comment on them. Lots of people like them. These are the best photos that have been created so far with CF Spark, the most popular ones. As you can see, these are definitely some decent generations to say nonetheless. They're very good for stable diffusion, I would say. And remember that in the future, if these generations maintain their popularity, these people could eventually begin to start making money with these creations that they've made because other people are going to be like, oh, I want to make a Christmas card. You know what? This generation would be absolutely perfect for me to go ahead and make a Christmas card with and they will pay to use this generation. So, you know, Creative Fabrica already has this digital asset marketplace, so they're already in a really good position to offer something like that. It's almost like, you know, there's all these different options to choose which free website you want to generate with Stable Diffusion in. If you would be interested in making money in the future, this would probably be your best bet at the moment in terms of a digital marketplace for your images. And no, I'm not talking about NFTs, I'm talking about stuff for art. They've also got a prompt book, which is pretty interesting. They do a little bit of explanation on how to form a prompt. I'm sure most of you folks at home don't need information on how to form prompts. You guys are pretty good at it, but it makes sense that they put this in here because, you know, CF Spark is going to have a lot of people from Creative Fabrica trying to use it that have never generated with AI art before. And they also link to Promptomania, which is pretty interesting. I've talked about this website in the past, but this is basically a prompt builder and it allows you to use a bunch of previous keywords to build yourself a prompt. So this is a very interesting website. And finally, folks, you have a ginormous head start on this, in my opinion, because you've already been generating AI art and you know how to make AI art. They're doing this insane promotion in November, went up to $100,000 in prizes by creating with CF Spark. $100,000? Like, what the? F Dang, this company's got some money to give away. Oh my god. It was kind of shocking. This is definitely the largest cash prize I think I've ever seen for AI generated art. They also did a giveaway in October. Oh, okay. So you never actually win $100,000. They just give $100,000 away in total, but that's still a lot of money. 
The first place won $20,000. Oh my god. And they made this. You guys can make better art than that. I know you can. Who wants to win some money? I absolutely believe that you guys do have the ability to win this contest, like just straight up. So I really suggest you go and see what you can do. And if you guys do win this November contest, you got to tell me, you have to let me know because I will be so amazed if you guys are kicking that much butt. So, okay, just go to CF Spark, basically sign up with your account, make your different prompt designs. I know you guys have great ideas. And the design with the most downloads seven days after launching wins. So contest is open worldwide. You need to publish your designs. Remember what we were talking about earlier? You need to make sure your designs are published on CF Spark. So that means they're like public forever to see. Remember that publish button I was talking about? And it ends on the 30th of November. You guys definitely have a head start, although half the month's already over. If you want to be eligible to win the prize... You do need to have the CF Spark creator subscription, so that's that $9 cancel anytime subscription. I guess that makes sense, you know, that's pretty fair. If you want to enter to win thousands of dollars, you might as well spend the $9. And I guess if you win, you need to do a Zoom call with a Creative Fabrica employee. Pretty cool, okay, so yeah, you could win a lot of money. The grand total here, if you even come in 47th place, you win 500 bucks, that's actually really good. This is actually a really good little prize pot. 47 to 28, 500 bucks, 27 to 18, 1,000, 17 to 8, 2,500, 7 to 3 is 5,000, 2, 10,000, 1, $20,000. That's not, that's not cheap. Anyways, folks, I do believe like I said, that you guys have a serious head start. And if you guys, if some of you win any of these prizes, I will be so enthralled. I'll be so happy. So anyways, folks, that is Creative Fabrica CF Spark. As you can see, there are quite a few differentiating factors that put it apart from the other free stable diffusion generation websites. Not to mention, though, they also do have a completely free offering. So it is completely free unlimited generation with CF Spark. You really can't deny that that is a good deal. There are a few other websites that do have unlimited generation like this, but again, with CF Spark, you are going to have the ability to publish them in the future and make money on your creations, which I haven't seen anyone else offer up to this point. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm at Video Productions.